a college student Barry gives prospective students and their families a tour of his college, as he relates a story about his friends to the visitors. Josh Parker and Tiffany Henderson are childhood friends, turned high school sweethearts. They try for a long-distance relationship as he goes to the University of Ithaca, and she goes to the University of Austin. Eventually, their long-distance relationship begins to deteriorate. Josh becomes insecure when he can't regularly reach Tiffany by phone. Fearing infidelity, Josh begins sending Tiffany videotaped messages. Josh asks his friend, Ruben, to mail his latest tape to Tiffany before leaving for his ancient philosophy class. Josh's ancient philosophy professor tells him he needs a B-plus on his midterm to pass the class. Josh's best friend E.L., convinces Josh to stop worrying about Tiffany and notice the beautiful Beth Wagner. Beth is in love with Josh, much to the chagrin of Jacob, the self-important ancient philosophy T.A. obsessed with her. Later, E.L. throws a party where he auctions off several female students, including Beth. Scared of Jacob, she convinces Josh to outbid him. Josh and Beth escape to his room and record themselves having sex on his camcorder. The following day, Josh tells his friends that he slept with Beth. When his friends don't believe him, Josh mentions that he has evidence. Josh's friends immediately play his camcorder tape, expecting to see Josh and Beth having sex, only to find love letters and songs performed for Tiffany. Josh believes that Ruben mailed the sex tape to Tiffany. Josh then hears a voicemail from Tiffany saying that she hasn't called as her grandfather has died, and she will be away from school until Monday. With E.L. and Ruben, Josh asks Kyle to tag along on a road trip, as he needs his car. Kyle is a shy loner who constantly fears his overly strict father Earl Edwards the car's owner. They head out to drive the 1,800 miles to Austin and back in three days, leaving their friend Barry to care for Mitch their snake. After leaving the interstate in Bedford for what they thought was a shortcut, they find a small bridge collapsed, realizing they will waste five hours backtracking. E.L. and Ruben convince them to jump the gap. Kyle object. But they proceed. They make it across, but the car is wrecked. They continue on foot, stopping at a motel. Ruben tries to buy marijuana from the unsympathetic motel clerk but is informed that Kyle's credit card is maxed out. Looking for transportation, E.L. persuades a blind woman Brenda, at a school for blind students, into letting him take a bus for repairs, and they resume the journey. Meanwhile, Kyle's father Earl, discovers the card is maxed. Believing he's been kidnapped, Earl begins searching for Kyle when told by the police that the car was found wrecked and he is missing. Josh's books were destroyed in the car wreck, so he called his professor to ask for an extension on his midterm exam. Jacob answers the phone, impersonating the professor and granting a fake extension. While Beth took the bus to Boston University because Barry thought Josh went to Boston instead of Austin. Beth told a different Tiffany that she cheated on her boyfriend, and Tiffany trashed her car and beat him up. They have a series of misadventures on the way, Kyle loses his virginity at a fraternity, Josh and E.L. raise money by making deposits at a sperm bank, where an attractive nurse assists E.L. They visit Barry's grandparents, where Reuben gets high with Barry's grandfather. When Barry feeds the snake, Beth comes looking for Josh again, he tells her Josh has feelings for her. Jacob walks in, telling her Josh is about to fail philosophy. Mitch bites Barry's hand causing a vicious struggle, ending with Mitch landing on Jacob squeezing his neck until he loses consciousness. Finally getting to Austin and Tiffany's dorm, Josh intercepts the tape just as she arrives. Earl also bursts in, furious over the car and the credit card, threatening to drag Kyle back. Kyle finally stands up to him, saying he is returning to school with his friends Earl assaults him and a mini riot ensues. Josh and Tiffany retreat to talk, then Beth calls to warn him, he has 48 hours to return to school, or he will fail his midterm course and possibly be kicked out of college. While Josh talks on the phone, Tiffany starts to watch the tape, which luckily is nothing but Barry mooning the camera. She and Josh agree to break up, remaining friends. Then Josh and crew rush back just in time to take his midterm, with some help from Beth who called in a bomb threat. As Barry closes the movie by completing the visitor's tour, he confirms that Josh passed the course. Josh and Beth are still together, happily making videos. Jacob eventually dies due to leading a cult staging a mass suicide, which no one but himself carries out. Ruben became a successful marijuana cultivator. E.L., inspired by his sperm donation, began dating a pre-med student, and Kyle reconciled with his father. The credits roll while Barry dry humps a mother from the tour group in the middle of campus.